the day to go to the job. Oh, no. That's why I was wearing my beloved husband's shirt. Mm -hmm. But judging from your reaction, that explains a lot. I thought all those women were grinning at me because I was such a handsome beloved husband. That was very and sweet. kept one picture, and, I was, and my wife told everybody I was just her Uber driver. <laughs> Honey! But anyway, about her business. I've got some memory cards with me, and they all say the same thing. Focus. Anyway, she has an internationally based internet business that focuses on lifestyle marketing. Huh? What is that? You know, to, they also call it making a change. But when I opened my eyes and really looked at it, what they're talking about is getting your life back. How many of us have had a job where we trade time for money? in the form of an hourly wage or a salary. And how many of us have had two of those at the same time trying to stay afloat? And if you're lucky at the end of the year, you get a small raise that's less than the rate of inflation and you just keep struggling to keep going. And what you did last week or last month is gone. You don't get paid for it anymore. If you don't work today, you don't get paid. For the last 20 years, I've been a respiratory therapist which has been a wonderful career. I have a job where I get to be kind for a living. But the hospital owns me, especially the last couple of years with the pandemic. I mean, mandatory overtime, critical staffing shortages. You work all the holidays, you work on weekends. Last year, about this time, I headed to Orlando on a COVID contract to work in a thousand bed regional hospital. And it was absolutely brutal. I was there for six months. In the meantime, you know, we all dream of owning our own business. I've never met a Filipino who, or Filipino who did not want to own their own business. And you talk about brick and mortar type of things, a Filipino store, the restaurants, Jolly Bees, whatever, that's hugely expensive. It takes a ton of money to get it started. Then you have staffing issues, especially now. And you just bought yourself a 100-hour a week job. In her business, your efforts are cumulative. What you did last year continues to pay you this year. And it just keeps building. They compare it to real estate. You know, as an agent, when you make a sale, you get a commission. But when you're the broker, you own the business. You team with other real estate agents, mentor them, give them a platform to work from. And when they're successful, so are you. You get a piece of that. And it continues to grow. So that's, that's what she does. She partners with like-minded people who are interested in starting their own business. Now, how does that happen? Well, it takes work. Just like any new business, a lot of it's done for you. The company creates and manages a sales funnel. And at the top of that funnel is awareness of your business. And that's your primary focus. You make people aware of it through events like this, through advertising on social media platforms. The training on that is very extensive. You start off with free ads, and as your business grows, so does your budget. Okay. And then when people uh, respond to the ads, they just simply click on a link that takes them into the sales funnel, and the rest of the work is done for you. There are follow-up emails that guide prospective partners through the whole process until they decide to take action. And then they put a small deposit to actually look inside the guts of the business. That's fully refundable, but it accomplishes a couple of things. It gets rid of the tire kickers, the people that are up at 2 o'clock because they can't sleep and are just surfing the internet. It also puts a 30-day time on it to create a sense of urgency. The 30 days, you have to look at it. You can get a refund any time during that. You can go beyond that. She had to go an extra five months because of me. But uh, if you like what you see, you schedule a coaching call. You get with the real experts in the business. They talk about how to start, how to work your budget. And you just jump in with those feet. Now, the depth of training they have, it's amazing. It's just, and it's evolving constantly. She just started a boot camp on cybersecurity. This being taught by somebody in the military who defends us against cyber warfare. It's very comprehensive. And it's constantly evolving as are their products. And they have weekly meetings 
she's worked so hard. She's never missed one. She had COVID a few weeks ago and was sitting in front of the computer on her blanket, shivering, attending these meetings and connecting with her team and the owners of the company. So she's really worked hard. And about the time I got back from Florida, it had been a little over a year, and things were really taking off. And they tell you, it's going to take a little time, just like any business. And she told me to take the summer off, and she bought me a motorcycle. I had gone to the uh, BMW Performance Center to learn how to ride on their big adventure bikes. Just love them. She bought me a BMW motorcycle, triple black, very masculine, and I was so excited. I asked her and my daughter to put their heads together and come up with a personalized plate in Tagalog, you know, unlike anybody else would have, you know, something masculine. And in the meantime, I ordered all these parts for the bike, and then it, the plate finally arrived. And I got it all put together. I got this amazing black bike with personalized plates. It says Pet Pet One. Oh my God, hi. <laughs> so when I go riding around the neighborhood, and my beloved husband, machine, trailing the order of VIX. She puts VIX on me before I arrive so I don't get pneumonia. Or in case I fall down. That way the road rash really burns. And, but the neighbors don't mind the smell kills the mosquitoes. But the most successful people every week in this business are Philippines. And that's for a reason. I mean, look at you guys. You smile with your whole face. You laugh with your whole body. You love with your whole heart. And when you see a chance to do something better, you jump in with both of you. And above all, nobody messes with a Filipino. Yes. So, scan the QR code back there, get her card. Take a look at it. Just really look it up if you're interested in having a dinner and visit someone else. If you like what you see, schedule a coaching call. If you have a reluctant husband, just get him a t-shirt of his own, and then jump in with both feet. We'll see you on the other side. Thank you.